It's the most beautiful time of the year. Lights fill the streets, spreading so much cheer. I should be playing in the winter snow, but I'ma be under the mistletoe. I don't wanna miss out on the holiday, but I can't stop staring at your face. I should be playing in the winter snow, but I'ma be under the mistletoe. So today we are bringing you guys a cooking video Ooh. and we're going to be making extra vanilla cupcakes Yes, ah. and we are going to make them with a special Christmas decoration so they will be good for the holidays. So Yeah, so we're going to walk you through each and every step. So here's the first one. Alright. The first step in order to create the perfect cupcake is applying your aprons. Whoa! Oh, whoa! That was, that was so crazy. <laughs> All right. So now that you have your aprons on, the second thing that you need. This you is super need important. this. This is super important. You cannot forget this. Don't forget. Don't this. forget. This. <laughs> you need your hairnet. <laughs> so now you've got your hairnet and you've got your apron. So you're all decked out in your cupcake making clothes. And now the final thing is that you have to do your More. special. Cupcake dance. Go! Let's go! So now that you have prepared, you need to go get your ingredients. First, you need two and a half cups of all purpose unbleached flour. Then you need two tablespoons of baking powder. And now you need a half a teaspoon of baking soda. Ooh. And a half a teaspoon of salt. Now you need one tablespoon of cinnamon. Now you need half a teaspoon of allspice. Then you need a quarter teaspoon of cloves. And then you need a quarter of a teaspoon of nutmeg. And now you need a half a cup of butter. Make sure it's softened. Then you need one quarter cup of packed brown sugar. And now you need three eggs. And now you've got your second butter item, one cup of buttermilk. And you need one teaspoon of vanilla. The first step is to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Sift together flour, baking powder, baking soda, salt, spices into a bowl. And now set that aside. Place shortening and brown sugar in a large mixer bowl. Blend until light and fluffy. <laughs> eggs one at a time, beating well after each addition. So now you're going to stir in the flour mixture, alternating with buttermilk. Stir in the vanilla 
uh, into the mixture. You can always add extra. So now you are going to put your cupcake liners into your cupcake pans and we have some special little snowman ones for winter. So just line those in your cupcake. Next thing you're going to do is put your cupcake batter into your cupcake liner tin things. And I'm using a special little ice cream scoop for this part, but you can always just use a spoon or whatever you have around your house. So now you're going to want to put your cupcake trays in the oven for about 30 to 35 minutes. You can put mine in for me. Okay. Let's see. So now to make the frosting, we are going to use this recipe and the things that you're going to need include 3 cups of powdered sugar, a half a cup of butter softened, and one and a half teaspoons of vanilla, but you can definitely add extra if you are like us and you love, love vanilla. And you're also going to need about two tablespoons of milk. Okay, so now when you want to go frost your cupcakes, just put some frosting in a little Ziploc bag like this. Take some scissors and you can cut a corner off of your frosting. So now you have a little piping bag. And so now you can just go ahead and frost your cupcakes. For decorating the cupcakes, you are just going to want to take some peppermints and put them in a bag and you can do as many as you want but I'm just going to show you with one to keep it really simple. So you want to make sure that these are actually in a bag so that way they don't fly everywhere and you're just going to take like any like hard metal piece device and this is just like the end of an ice cream scoop and you're just going to pound it um, down until it's crushed up so I'm not going to talk through this because it's going to be really loud. So once that is all crushed up, you're just going to want to sprinkle it onto your cupcake, so I will show you that right now. Alright, so now you have your cupcake with frosting, and all you're going to want to do is take your peppermint and just sprinkle it on top, and so this just adds a little bit of decorativeness to the overall cupcake, and you can make your frosting any color if you want to make it red, that would look really cool with the peppermint flakes. So you're just going to do that and that is probably the easiest way to decorate these for winter. So as you might have tell, told, <laughs> so as you can tell, our cupcakes, these ones are good, but our other ones kind of, they, they, our decorating skills are not very good. So, you know, these are the best we can do, but so, we have a lot of failures. They're very, very simple. And 
even though they may not look their best, they still taste amazing. Great. And now I will show you guys a method that I have learned from somewhere. You guys might be able to find out where it is if you know the place that came from. <laughs> so what I will do is you hold the cupcake by like this. like this, and then you break apart the bottom bit. So then you take off all the like bad, not bad stuff, but like the the cake, the cake part. part, and you stick it on the top, and then it becomes a sandwich. With like frosting in the middle. Like that. So who cares if it's not decorated all good? Cause it, whatever. It looks amazing. It's gonna be like covered up anyway. Alright, so now it is time for the taste test. Mmm. Mm. It's so good. Uh-huh. Yep. Mm. I can just taste all the Christmasiness in my mm. Muy bien. But seriously, these two, these taste amazing. They're really good. You can like taste the vanilla in it for sure, and the cinnamon. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So good. Mm -hmm. I love how the flavors just mesh together into mm -hmm. one wonderful creation. Yeah. It's so good, guys. You have to try it. It's so much better than just a regular vanilla cupcake because those don't even taste like vanilla, you know? Those just taste like cake. I don't know. <laughs> but these ones taste like vanilla and cinnamon, mm -hmm. so... Definitely, if you like those two ingredients, try this out. So, thank you guys for watching. Um, we are really glad. Um, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this. And they were so delicious, so you guys have to try this out. Yep. Um, they taste like vanilla. And okay, they're so good. Established that, but they're yeah. yeah. So. so, we will have the recipe and all the ingredients and the instructions linked to the down bar. So, let us know if you try these out. Yeah. And send us a picture. Well, actually, okay, like tag it on Instagram for yeah. chance. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so we will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Bye. Whoa. And as you can see, they look kind of bad, but that's because we're not artistic. So let's get into how you make these freaky looking snowmen. <laughs>